and welcome back to the 15th anniversary long run where we are doing our third let's play of Tomba uh, Tomba 3 no, Tomba 1 last time we died and that bumped us back to the title screen and made us lose progress it's pretty great I've taken some measures against this You will notice that I have currently two lives. I definitely did not have two lives when I saved this game. But sometimes though I like I notice that in some specific locations like, I start rising up when I have the, the parasol on. That buddy still wants his funga. Man, this parasol makes it so much easier to make these jumps. Especially for how much precision you need to actually like grapple on to hmm. yeah, I don't think there's anything over there anymore. just a lots of tiny death I do hope that uh, if ever the remake can come out that uh, it adds some quality of life improvements, makes some uh, some things a little easier to deal with, maybe turn off the lives entirely. Where is that digger? I think I might have gone by. Also, I got thrown into the pit in exactly the same way as the last time. But you'll notice that I still have two lives because screw this live system. Yep, I definitely uh, passed right by the um, the digger. Back to his nest. I need to grapple to get through the lava caves. Okay, interesting. I guess we'll need to grapple with that reality. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that the the famous digger was probably back near the start here. Yeah. 
What's the problem when your memory sucks like mine? Is it over here? No, that's that's Funga. Captain Fungus. I'm trying to repace my steps from uh, before the break here. We floated all the way over here. Okay, that just puts me back to here. Oh, I can actually grab onto this. It's kind of silly. Buddy. I don't think it is there. Uh, we, we've acquired a funky parasol, also Hey Zero. There you are. All that to re-get this event and also some cheese. Don't forget, by the way, if you wish to do so, put in your doodads for the uh, for the community challenge event. But yes, at this point, I have gotten the game over and uh, taken measures so that we don't get a game over ever again. Because all that does is uh, bumps you back to the title screen and any unsaved progress is lost forever. Well, not forever, you just do it again. We also have a maximum 7 health. I'm just trying to think of what it is that we need to be doing next. I think we've done pretty much everything that we can uh, currently in the mountains. Also, I didn't realize that I could throw down. I just gone this entire time not remembering that I could throw downward. Alright, let's see what events we get. Big bag, haunted pink bag. 
precious treasure chest. I think that's the thousand year old key that we need. Storm of Big Vampire, Big Vampire's here. Master of the Skies. I don't think that's something that we can do right now. Yeah, no, that's uh, giving. Delivering a lot of bunk to the Phoenix. Swim. The fire forest. Where'd the lights go? Oh, okay, we can do that. Experience mushroom, broken fountain. Plant a flower garden, that's a new one I haven't checked. So that requires clearing the hundred flower forest. And we'll seek when, is, when the wind dies down. Oh! Now there is one more thing that we can do. But since we're here. Yeah, there, there was a door that was closed that uh, would not open again until after the wind dies down. But anyway, we're, we're gonna get this guy's torch. And go back down here. There we go. Oh, there's my tunnel! Thanks for your help! Now I can finally escape! Hmm. What have we done? Also, I feel like you could have just felt your way like into the tunnel. You didn't necessarily need to be able to see. You probably can't see while you're in the tunnel anyway. Oh dear, have you seen the Elder? Two dwarves from the forest are arguing right in front of the village entrance. Usually we just let them be, but they're blocking the way no one can get by. Stop the fight. I will resolve the trouble. I'm going to stop the fight. Na -na 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 -na. Oh right, I completely forgot to take my antacids, so I'll be I'll uh just mute and do that real quick. Okay. Hit it, but he might find it soon. You tell him. I didn't bring it, you did. Okay. Arguing about who broke something. To taking care of something for the elder. Someone broke something, apparently, and uh, we cannot come to an agreement as to who did. Yeah, real hard work. 
You're doing a great job. Yeah. And you're still talking about the pig bags, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to talk to the lady. Yeah. Yeah. Yelled at her here. So am I going to have to escape through this guy's escape tunnel? Oh! So this is what they broke. I don't know why it was down there. I wonder if... Uh, oh, you can't do anything about that. That's... See, it's all your fault. You're the one who broke it. You fool! How dare you break my pe my precious face! I'm so sorry! <sighs> Finally made it out of that hole. You'd be kind enough to fill up the hole. Why is there a sinkhole in the middle of the village anyway? I think that might be the hole that uh, the thief escaped from, which bit of a brazen escape if you're just going to come out in the middle of the village. Did you see him? Nope, we can't find him anywhere. Maybe it's just a rumor after all. I don't know. Villager said they saw him in this forest. Here, but even for the world's greatest thief, it'd be hard to dig to dig an escape to this far. The Great Escape. I'm going to go look in the underground prison one more time. And of course they have to move one at a time for some reason. Tasty mushrooms. I'm dangerous mountain to the east of the mushroom floor. Why are you telling me about this now? I've been to these places. Wait, he's back there? Oh, I see. Ah, you must be the little squirt that blocked my tunnel. Look at me. It's all your fault that I'm back in here again. I was trying to escape from the dwarves right when you filled my tunnel with dirt. Forget the mansion treasures, I can't even steal a slice of bread now. Say, did you know about the telescope at the watchtower? Uh, never mind. Uh, it's so boring here. I'm going to sleep. Some escape. We have already dealt with the uh, the telescope at the watchtower. I'm hoping that that is all that we can do here at the moment. Anyway, we gotta go back to the uh, yeah. to the mountain. Yeah. Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? Yeah. 
Actually, I wonder if I could... Can I use the bucket again? Can I use the bucket again? Then why do we even have the bucket? This way. Eighty-eight. Ninety-nine. Dang it. There we go. We're now at level ten green. Here we are again, and this time we should be able to, now, now that I remember to do this, for no other reason than I looked it up. And there was definitely an updraft there, like I, I don't know if there's a way to tell where the updrafts are. Bunga bunga again. I think it's on the second screen. a large lunch box. Now that's a question. Is anyone looking for a large lunch box? Oh, recovers full vitality. Okay. So this is a me item. Have fun putting pigs in bags. I love that that sounds like a euphemism, but isn't. Alright, have a good night, dear. Alright, so that is that. Oh, now someone tells me that chat isn't being captured. I, I really need to make a better chat overlay because, like, that happens half of the time at least. It's really all about uh, order of operations. Either you or Jewel. But I appreciate when you do. But I wish that more people would. Okay, 
Uh, tears from a flower. Is that something that we can do now? No, we need the tear jar. And we do not have the tear jar. Treasure chest is uh I think that might be where we need to go next, honestly. I'm actually looking at a walkthrough because uh Right, we did see the thousand-year-old man, but he was behind a gigantic wall of fire. Let's go back to Bacchus Village. The old men of time. There we go. So now we have the thousand year old man. We have wine again. Now we, there, there sure are a lot of rooms, yeah. Can't stop crying. Can't stop, won't stop. Ah. Well, we have a healing mushroom. Maybe that'll help. What? 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 Wow! I'm cured. Hey, thanks. I need a weird mushroom for the mushroom forest. But I'd never be able to stop crying. Okay. Hey, by the way, have you ever seen a little baby coma pig? They're called baby pigs, but I can't seem to find any. If you ever find one, will you let me have it? I was to exchange it for something special. I am sure I will not remember that because you didn't give me an event for it. Pink is somewhere really hot, that's probably the lava caves. Green is the mansion on the lake, obviously. Red is awaiting a miracle, and that is the boss that we have cleared. And it says Red is awaiting a miracle because uh, it is waiting for the charity fountain to come back up. And that's where we found the red pig door. So, so she is telling us where the pig doors are. You know what the grapple is? No, you don't. From what I've been told, you needed to get through the lava caves. Starting with pigs. Put a treasure chest next to the town hall. You can have it if you like, but I'm afraid I don't know how to open it. 
if the fire is in the lava caves we put out, you could get to the phoenix nest. Yeah. Yes, the fortune tall is returned. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and that's uh it's suspicious. Oh is that what the 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 weird mushroom that we found was that a suspicious mushroom were we in a paranoid state was that what it was called yeah. 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 yep uh, we got that key contact the nearest mouse Please note, we may not always be able to solve your problem. There we go. Okay, so we have unlocked the, the event for the Thousand Year Old Man. So now maybe we'll be able to actually talk to him. But now we gotta find him again. Hmm. Maybe we can get to the other side of this now. Barely, but it's not worth it. Also, I did take a hit getting back. It's not great. Check every door just for good measure. Probably something at some point here. Actually, we've never been this way. Oh, that just takes us out to here. We got it. I don't think there's anything else really all that interesting out in this end of the world. I'll take a look just for good measure. Oh. Spike a wall. I feel like there was something here. Right now I need the... I need the tear jar for that and I don't have that. It's so weird that there is a screen transition right there. You can unwatch his dirt mouth when you float. Can't.
Uh, he's he's just an enthusiastic fellow. He's like a hawk. Chomp down on his prey as he flies in to strike. I like these friggin' pterodactyls in this area. They're giving me some blue experience, which is definitely something that I want. I have no idea where the blue jewel is, but uh, we'll find it eventually. Let's get another chest that I don't have a key for. I hate that there are so many doors here and there's like little to no indication of uh, what, what door goes where. At least we've already dealt with the uh, with the laughing door. Nope. wasn't one of these, was it? I know that the the open one there is just the one that uh, leads to that lift area. Locked door. I gotta do this absolutely necessary rotating of the world. We've already been through the crying door as well. Manual Paper Mario. <laughs> and now we're just retreading ground because I don't remember which doors I've been through. So I'm just gonna die. So why does it not let me rotate the world here? That's my question.
Uh, I'm sorry, guys. This seems to happen every time I come to the Haunted Mansion. I mean, I haven't played this game in about 11 years. So... I guess I'm deciding to use that as, that as an excuse. Door already. Start putting up the Zelda 2 maps on the side. That is once again a locked door. A locked chest. Yeah, I don't know if there are any maps of this game, is the thing. Nope. Because honestly, it is a little harder to map a 3D environment, like in an effective way. Still don't know what the deal is with here. I feel like I need to use an item here, but I don't... Bucket? No. I probably don't have the item yet. I've been in this door already. At this point, I'm going to see if I can find my way back to the entrance and see if uh, this guide here can just point me in the right direction. Is it just this big door? It was just the big door. Yeah, you're back. Those hundred-year-old wise men has some good things to say about you. Looks like he was right, too. They want to hear more about the evil pigs, right? The evil pigs use very powerful magic that can warp an entire area under their control. However, they need an enormous amount of gold to produce this kind of magic. They must be gathering all this gold in one place somewhere. If you can find this place, I'm sure you'll find your grandfather's bracelet. I missed what the second thing is that, uh, does it break the magic egg? Okay, because I, I was turned over to, uh, to my, uh, event list here to mark off the thousand year old man and, and I was like, da 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 da, -da. wait, what? 
Oh, and then the controller got disconnected again. Here's a present for you. It's a thousand-year-old key. To focus the window again, I think. This key will open all the thousand-year-old treasure chests. You'll we'll find what you need to get to beyond Phoenix Mountain in the thousand-year-old treasure chest. I think I left it at Phoenix Mountain. But remember, there's a special technique in getting through the lava caves. The flame from the lava, the flames from the lava inside the caves will also be a problem. I'm afraid there's nothing you can do until you find the evil pig that casts a spell and seal him away. The green evil pig bag will reveal the evil pig gate. So search the lava caves for the bag. You can see it in your eyes. You will become stronger. Just don't lose your courage. First, you should climb the sun, the stand of the sun torch. It's somewhere near this building. It will show you a new power. After that, you must use your own strength to find your way. Take care of yourself. You'll meet some friends of mine that ahead, up ahead that can help you. But be careful of the 10,000 year old man. It's not a bad man, but... Well, you'll find out. Good luck. Now, a thousand year door, you need crystal stars to open that. So I know that there was at least 1,000 year old chest around here somewhere. Can't jump down from there. Can jump down here though. That's a level eight blue. I think there might have been a thousand year old chest this uh, on this end. Yeah. The large lunchbox. I like how, like, basically he ends up dipping his toe in the water, and that's enough that he's like, nope. Not dealing with this water crap. There's at least one other thousand year old chest. See if I can find it and then we'll go somewhere else. Yep, that's the uh, healing fountain. I guess I could have used the healing fountain, but uh, I have six points of health. I'm not too worried. That's not even the one that I was thinking of, but hey, Stone Boomerang, that's a weapon upgrade. I know for sure there's at least one more. Know that it's not behind the crime door.
think it's one of these two doors. And it's not that one. And it's not that one. Like, I'm a hundred percent sure there's still a uh, thousand year old chest around here somewhere that I haven't opened. Back to the other side. I might just move on, actually. Ah! Unless maybe it was this door. It may have been. Yes! Now it's for a lunchbox. Well, the important thing is we found it. At this point, I don't know if there's still anything else that we can get, but uh, I am good calling it for this area for now. We'll just move on. See if there's any more thousand year old chests around. Haha, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fart plant, go fart. It puny. Actually, this collection of items is making it kind of hard to go underneath here. There we go. In the case that there might have been something here, but I guess there wasn't. I think there's another butt plant. Hey buddy, over here. There we go. We got one of them baby flower pigs. Baby flower pigs? Baby coma pigs. Uh, peach flower gas. And so that is why those, uh, those butt plants were significant in the first place. Yeah. 
Now I want to say that there was at least one. Um. Ah. I want to say there was at least 1,000 year old chest somewhere in the Force of All Beginnings. Let's, uh, womp all the pomps. Again. Why am I doing it? You'll find out later. I guess there wasn't anything else. Uh, there weren't any uh, chests. The only uh, thousand year old chest that I can think of for sure would be in the mansion and you can't get in from the front. Hey, Grandpa. Well, not actually Grandpa. Although, who knows? Maybe he is Grandpa, we just don't know. Now, we still need leaf butterflies, though. I'm not really sure why they're not spawning anymore, because, like... They should spawn until we have enough, and enough is... most likely very. Oh, come on! The respawn rate is atrocious. We haven't been here in a little while. I guess let's uh, take a look. Actually, before I do anything else, I should probably save. Or we're safe against uh, running out of lives, but... It's a, it's a good idea to just make sure that progress is, uh, not going anywhere. That's probably not the, the word that I should have used. We want progress to go forward. We just don't want it to go away. That was a good jump, actually. You seeing any blue chests, buddy? No? no that is, uh, that chest is too old for us. There's another very old chest that we don't have a key for. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Holy moly, that was a big coin. I wonder with the stone boomerang, would, be, would we be able to break this? That is one of the tasks that we have, is to break this. Is that, that is the what is this ta uh, task. Is there a blue chest here? I think the other ledge also didn't have a blue chest. As for, for good measure, we can also check on top of the tower. So that has been how to interact with that pink puff the entire time. I thought I needed to like, oh, what is this? Yeah, that is not a chest we can open right now. Ding dong, magic mirror? I guess. Magic mirror. I do know for sure that there is a blue chest in the town. And then after that, we'll go back to, uh... That was for Charity Wings. So I am going to use those Charity Wings, actually. Um... And go to Bacchus Village. There's a couple of things we can do there now. Because there is a blue chest in the town square. That has the orange evil pig bag. Uh, that unlocks Bacchus Village. And uh, we finished the mouse pig bag. the one who was asking about the little baby pigs. I don't know that this is strictly a baby pig, but uh, maybe we can pretend. Hey, that's it! Where did you find him? Great, just like I promised, I'll give you something really special. Drum roll, please. Here is the world's most unusual coca claw. What's so unusual about it? There, there, now. Humor me, would you? Act like you appreciate it. I gotta go, thanks. 
flower, I guess. It's clear. And now we have a cocoa claw. Cocoa bird's pointy claw may be mixed with other items. Interesting. Let's go ahead and save. I do find it hilarious that ever since we started cheating for lives, um, I've been dying substantially less, but also, like, I have the, uh, the funky parasol now, and like a lot of my deaths, I feel like were falling related. Anyway, the thousand year old man told us to get the um, the, the red fire gem, which we already did. Just a reminder to anyone lurking out there who might not have done so yet, if uh, you have any channel doodads, channel points as it were, and uh, want to contribute them to something, there is the um, Archimegalo community, uh, community challenge where uh, if we can gather 50,000 doodads, I will do a 12 world I always have to think about the sequence of words here. A 12 world solo async multi world. So, me playing 12 different games and um, having to archipelago my way through them. And it should be all of them. Huh? Wait a minute, that's it. That's a thousand year old key right there in your hand. I see. Well, so, the old man uh, finally found someone worthy enough of the key. Well, I guess my job is done then. I don't have a clue as to what's in there, but take good care of whatever it is. Okay, so a precious treasure chest has been cleared. Alright, so considering that we can't actually do anything here, it's in lava caves. Uh, I think that was the fire pig bag, right? check to make sure that uh, my list is consistent with the game's list. Yep, the fire pig guy. So yeah, we won't be able to make it anywhere uh, farther than this right now. But now that we have the green pig bag, we should be able to uh, find the green pig. And green is the mansion on the lake. So guess where we're going again? Oh, and here is the grapple, which we which we will need to um, traverse the uh, the lava caves when we've dealt with the majority of the problem there. Which for that, we're going back to the Haunted Mansion. But at the very least, 
uh, it should be outside, and it might actually be that little, uh, there's a little dip that goes kind of toward the water. I'm thinking that the uh, pig door is going to be there. Yes, yes, Bacchusville. I have already saved. I was trying to run, and instead I'm going into the save screen again. Somewhere around here. The pig and that's going toward that little uh, side area of it. Is not an action zone, so I'm not gonna be there for sure. I was thinking that it'd be around here. I guess it's not. It might be inside one of the doors. Which one? Who knows? If I can find mm -hmm. oh. It's in the laughing door. So there is a way to control our emotions from anywhere. And that is one of the things that we have access to now that we have the thousand year old key. But we are going to need to go back to the mushroom forest. Uh, which we can't do. For I'm hoping that. It'll be the last time that we need to go to the Mushroom Forest. It probably isn't. One can do it. It's 89. 11 more blue experience and we'll be able to say that we have filled all of our experience bars. I don't want to use all of my um, charity wings just yet because uh, there is a finite number of them. I 
at least until we can deal with the fountain at Charity Square. As I feel like doing that will allow us to just stock up on charity wings. here. But you jerk. Wow. That is a gigantic asshole move. Down I go again. Th this is just rude. I mean, at least the chests come back if you don't collect what was inside, but still. Like, if I wasn't cheating for lives, I would be back down to zero. There we go. This is probably the chest that I'm actually looking for. No, that's the thousand-year-old bell. Which, they'll help us get back to the haunted mansion, which we will need to do once we find what I'm actually looking for. It's not that. Good. Amazing. I swear that there is a thousand year old chest somewhere somewhere here that isn't in a complete asshole place that contains something that we actually need. background. Guide says, first chest you run into has a one-up inside. This chest has a one-up. Now go to the platform directly above it and jump on the fruit of death. Will we... oh, okay, there we go. The mysterious mushroom. Now then, let's use a thousand year old bell and go back to the um, the haunted mansion. So now we'll be able to get into the laughing door. Provided that I don't die. Which, you know, 
this game, big if. So now, you might be wondering, what does this mysterious mushroom do? Well... It lets us switch between laughing and crying states anywhere. So we no longer need to, to rely on the, uh, the mushrooms in the mushroom forest. Still need to rely on the healing mushrooms to go back to a normal state, I think. But look! It's another pig door. Wow, my clothes! This happens every time I flex. Who are you? How'd you get in? You know what? A scrawny thing like you wants to fight me? I guess it I guess you didn't see my muscles rip through my clothes. You know, people like you never know what they're getting into before it's too late. What do you think you can do, skinny boy? Go home while you still can. What? You still there to fight? That's it. I've had enough. I gave you your chance. You're in for it now. Just remember, you asked for it. Oh. Yeah, this boss is uh, substantially ruder than the, uh, the windy one. Well, these fireballs hurt. And so does actually touching the pig. Show up somewhere useful. Or, you know, you can also do that. So wait for it. Ah! Waited too long. I don't like how well those, uh, Meteors track you though. Know? It's not perfect, but it's still a bit too on the nose. Thinking maybe I need to take off the uh the funky parasol. somewhere useful. Maybe, uh, maybe turning off the funky parasol wasn't a good idea. Well, at least we don't have to worry about lives. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, if not for that little ledge there, that would have gone straight in. Nope. Gotta throw in the mouth of the bag. Ah! Uh, timing is terrible. I might have been able to get that if I didn't latch on to the bar instead. No, I didn't have timing for that at all. Also, I didn't know that I could catch him on the rebound like that. And then I jump on the wrong side. Like, if I had jumped on the right side, the right side being the right side, My goodness, I'm glad that you only have to do it once, because holy crap. Anyway, we've released the spell on the lava caves. I go ahead and use the thousand year old bell. I know that I'm already at the haunted mansion, but uh, this will help me not have to look for this guy so he can heal me. My goodness. Yes, please, save my game. And now we get to go back up the mountain for which I will put on the funky parasol. But yes, back up the mountain so we can get to the lava caves and progress maybe to a new area. Yeah. 
Actually, come to think of it, there's still... Oh my goodness! Like, I could do nothing there because, like, I was caught in the updraft. I feel like my only defense here is turn on the Jewel of Fire. And so when that stupid spike turtle decides to come after me, even if I'm caught in an up in, in updraft, oh, and then I just don't get directly attacked by one of them. Waffle a mow. So here we are at the lava caves. Ooh. Bunk flower. Alright. And I need five of those. Wondering how I can stay here without burning up? Well, this particular spot is shielded from the heat of the lava. Anyway, it's not important. I have bigger things on my mind right now. You can't tell this to anybody. I lost a very important item that I was taking care of for my boss. I promised not to tell a single soul. I thought I lost it around here, so I came back to look for it. And it's so hot and dangerous I can't seem to I just can't seem to find it anywhere. The troubled thief. If you find it, let me know, okay? This, uh... This little alcove looks very sinister. Just careful that you don't get eaten by the caves. Alright, that gives me... Couple of more charity wins to work with. Another bunk flower. Yeah, the intended way to navigate through here is by using the, um, the grapple, but uh, as you can see, it's not necessarily required. Okay, so... The walls are hot, got it. Also, there is definitely a pit in the bottom. Phoenix Nation, greetings. All right. Up to eight health now. I'm doing okay. I thought that I had gotten enough bunk flowers. Can I just have six now? Ah, I just have six. Uh, so which one was the Phoenix's favor, I think? Phoenix's favorite. Like five bung flowers for the Phoenix. 
How many doors have you gotten done? Uh, we just got the second pig door done. Uh, so we got the one in the Haunted Mansion. We got the one in uh, at Charity Square. So there's a hundred year old chest there. It's been a little slower than I would like, but, uh, We're getting there. Also, this is what the grapple does, since I've absolutely not been using the grapple until now. Ah! Oh, geez. See if I can get that. There we go. Lunch box. Okay. There might be some other things there, but I'm not too too worried about it at the moment. It's all about the journey and the friends we made along the way. Yeah, this, uh, it's not a game that is, like, it's not one that I necessarily grew up with, but it is, like, it is significant to me in that it is the first game I ever let's played 15 years ago. And so, we're back here 15 years later playing it again. Shove the flowers into your face and let's go, I guess. The Master of the Skies. This time, our uninterrupted flight to wherever it is that we're going. The Jungle Pig Bag. I'll mark that one there. Um, actually, about that, uh, I think it was possibly a year or two ago at this point that uh, Limited Run Games actually did announce that they were going to uh, to put out a uh, a remake. Where that remake is at the current time is beyond me, because they're like they announced it and then nothing. Oh, you're excited, aren't you? And these guys do not give me experience. Oh, there's the fungus drum. Oh, I need those. Beef butterfly, come back. Dang it. Also, these wiggle vines appear to uh, not want me on them.
And so we were up to 26. So we're probably going to need another four here. Um, probably don't want to be using the grapple right now. Stone green ring, maybe? One can only hope that uh, one can only hope because this is your favorite franchise. Yeah, I feel like they could have done more with Tumba. Like this game has problems. Like it's definitely not perfect, but it's original. Like it does something new. You don't see enough of that. Holy crap! That was four damage. What if I just turn into a fireball and I deal with you that way? Yes. What? You jerk. rather deal with these uh with these fungus than uh than with these uh spike flowers. Oh, I have four. Okay. For some reason, I, I didn't think I had picked up four. It's original and nostalgic, yeah. Exactly. That's the, the whole thing about why, like, why there is even a market for a remake of this game to start with. Ah! Go away, please! Huh? Oh, you're not one of the Masakari. Huh, what a relief! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I came from the clock tower that's in the village of civilization up ahead. My hat was blown away and landed somewhere around here. I just saw a weird looking monkey with it, but I'm too scared to chase it. To chase him. What with the Masakari owl? Say, if you see a strange monkey with striped pants on, do you think you could get my hat back from him? Well, we have a pretty good rapport with uh, with this particular monkey, if it's the one we're thinking about. And I just want to be a kid again once you're an adult, yeah. That's a mood. Ooh! Interesting. We've gotten- oh! Even more interesting! Oh, we've gotten a, uh, a Vital. Yep, but we don't have room for it. Hmm. Also, hey, Yan. Hi, Yan. Maybe I'm not as good as this, at this hiding thing as I thought I was. Maybe not. But we, we did find one of the evil pigs. So, must be doing something, right? Just some funny looking kid. It's just some kind of a joke. I figured all sorts of big scary people would come uh, would come fight me. I can beat anyone here, no matter how many fight me. Why? Because this place is is uh, uh, I'm not telling you. It's for me to know and you'd find out. Find out when I crush you. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, geez. Okay, we're not high enough for a good shot of the pig back here. This is probably too high. But rather too high than not high enough. Oh, down you go. I was like, I can always fall. I just can't come back up. Ah! Oh my goodness, I'm trying to, to fall here and try to see if I can get a good shot at the uh, pig bag, but that's not really working out. Digital PS3 version had a glitch where you can never restore the tree. Ew. Yeah, that, that's kind of a thing with uh, with Limited Run, at least. They usually care about their re-releases. There we go. Three down. And that's Bacchus Village released. Mice no more. Today you shall become... The people you once were. Although honestly, there's nothing wrong with being a mouse. Okay. Oh, bogies. Yep, and that is death down there. Oh no, I've gotten myself trapped. What? I forgot that that was an instant death. Okay. I knew that there was a thing for that, but like, that's kind of dirty. I did not remember that at all. What do you mean I got hurt? By what? Hey, you just keep jumping. It's fine. I'm glad that this funky parasol is a thing. Okay, and that would have just thrown me directly into another cage. Which is probably also an instant death, and I don't need to show it again. Hey Charles, how you doing? Um, how do I interact with you? Oh my goodness! That's how I interact with you. Oh, you can't swim! Oh, what are you gonna do? I guess I could teach you how to swim, but... Oh, no more bananas. I'm kind of tired of them, but I'm really thirsty. Do you have anything to drink? A refreshing drink. Oh, and by the way, I found this hat near the entrance to the Village of Civilization. If you're going there, will you return to its owner for me? I'm sure whoever lost it is looking for it. Yeah, we did run into the guy before. 
And yeah, I definitely did die a lot at Phoenix Mountain while it was still stormy. It's not my only source of deaths, but uh... It was not an insignificant one. Whew! I don't want to sneak up on me like that. Did you find my hat? Had become death. Yeah, that's it, thank you! Hey, if you like, why don't you stop by our clock tower? You probably won't be able to enter the factory in Iron Castle, but you can enter the clock tower any time you'd like. And fine, Charles is complete. Now, where does this lead to? Clock Tower, Lumberjack Factory, Lumberjack Factory. Your right eye is turning red. Ugh. That uh, does not sound great. You know what? This looks like an entire thing. Maybe I should save. Am I doing a 100% run? That is the intention. I have Let's Play this game twice, and both times I've missed something. So I, I am doing my best for this to be a 100% run. I have, like, uh, basically an Excel document, like a spreadsheet, of every event, and I'm marking them off as I go, and I'm going to do everything that I can to get all 130 of these to finally get this done. I think when I did it um, for my four-year anniversary, I got almost everything, but I broke the spiked barrel on the bridge, and that doesn't come back. And this time I have taken care to not break it and then just push it into the water like you're supposed to. Any dang way. We've, uh, we've gotten a lot of progress today. We've gotten up to 58 uh, events cleared and 77 uh, revealed at the very least. And thank you for the follow, Phoenix Nation. Uh, but uh, that will do it for tonight. So I want to thank y'all for hanging out. Uh, thank you to uh, Zero Grim, J-Pop, Tyrion and Phoenix Nation for hanging out in chat. The next scheduled stream is going to be on uh, Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some more Archipelago shenanigans. Maybe I will decide to do something different. We'll see. It depends on how I'm feeling, pretty much. Uh, and that takes us around the week, around the wheel, to our next uh, 15th anniversary long run. We're going to continue our run of uh, Tomba trying to get through to that 100% mark. We found over half of the events at this point, so we're doing good. And that will be at 9pm Atlantic Daylight Time, 8pm Eastern. Um, and yeah, make sure that you keep tuning in so that we can fill out our uh, community challenge for Archimegalo. We're currently up to 20,210 doodads out of our 50,000 goal. I think we can make it. This seems a attainable to me, at the very least. Um, and yeah, that I think should be a lot of fun if we can uh, get to that goal. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Julio, if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.